Welcome back to Message Crawler Video Manual. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how we can take additional metadata fields and bring them into relativity along with your RSMF files in order for you to work with your data in a more efficient manner. So what kind of metadata would we want to transfer? Well, for example, if you're working with Slack, perhaps you would like to know what channel those messages are coming from. And there is no way to easily include a metadata field with a channel name. So Message Crawler will allow you to do that in a few different ways. And today we're going to look at three ways you can transfer metadata from Message Crawler into Relativity. So let's take a look at my screen and I'll show you how we can do this. First, we're going to need some data. So I'm going to go to Import and I will pick Slack. I'm going to say Import, pick my channels JSON, download attachments and load to grid. Uh, this is covered in details in a Slack conversion uh, video manual. So what we see here are different metadata fields and let's say we want to take our channel name and let's pick another field just so we have a few a message ID. So three ways we can do them. One, we can write them into a cross-reference file. Two, we can write fields in the RSMF header, which is a new uh, feature. And we can also embed them in uh, what's called other fields. So let's do the cross-reference first. We're going to go to select fields and make sure we check our channel name and message ID. And we're going to keep both chat boxes checked so the information gets written to a cross-reference file as well as written to RSMF header. You cannot do header without cross-reference, so you need both. And here we'll do the same. Uh, we're going to select our uh, message ID and channel name. All right, so now let's just switch this conversation to channel and do a quick export. All right, click on that, export's done. Let's switch to a folder where export was done. And now we can see a folder with RSMF files and our cross-reference. So let me do this. Let me load these RSMF files into Relativity and then we'll take a look at how the metadata that we've exported uh, shows up. All right, so what I did is I created a quick processing set. I added files we just generated. I discovered them and I published them. So now I have 10 files. So if we go to our Documents tab, we'll locate our folder RSMF6. Um, we'll be able to see first way we can transfer data in. So in Message Crawler, we have selected this option, Other Fields to Include. Where does that show up in Relativity? Well, if we click on RSMF file and we'll switch to a viewer, of course, we'll see that there is a question mark next to each one of the messages. If we hover the mouse over, you'll see we have a message ID and a channel name. So those are the two fields we've selected in Message Crawler. Now they show up here. So we can include uh, different information here and whenever review is happening, somebody could look at it and say, what is this channel from? Okay, it's from General. And then maybe they need to copy and paste this message ID to cross-reference to the original Slack environment or something like that. So this is one way we can include additional metadata information. The second way we can do it is through use of a cross-reference file. When we exported the data, uh, we had the cross-reference file generated here. If we were to open it in the text editor, you'll see that we have our ID, we have our channel name, um, message IDs, uh, so ID, message IDs, channel name, and export file name. So this export file name will allow us to use a desktop client to overlay this information into Relativity. So I can add a column called file name and this column right here will match to our entry in the cross-reference. So now you'll be able to overlay your channel name as well as message IDs into any field you'd like and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to perform filtering and searching, which in my opinion is the most useful way of handling additional metadata fields. Now, the third way we looked at is write fields into RSMF header. What is that? Well, if we were to open an RSMF file in a text editor, 
So let me open the first one. You'll see there are custom fields have been created. So RSMF is actually an EML file format that's been uh, modified a little bit. So we can include custom information in a header. And what we've done is added two fields here, X message caller channel name, it says general, and X message caller message ID, which contains multiple message IDs. It does look a little weird because of special encoding in EML, but it's going to be fine once you see it in relativity. So we've added these two fields to our RSMF. So let's go to relativity and see how they look there. All right, so if we add a field called message header to our view, you'll see that we have some extra fields, RSMF generator, generated by, so this is a requirement for RSMF specification. We have a version number, message count, uh, but if we go lower, you'll see we have X message caller channel name general. This is what we've embedded in the header. We also have our message ID separated by semicolons. What can you do with this? Well. One thing you can do is if you copy and paste, you can actually filter on those metadata fields so we know what channel data came from. Um, the way it works right now isn't optimal, and the way I would expect this functionality to work is actually a little different. Uh, Relativity does have support for custom field names uh, to be extracted. So if we look at something like a select channel field, and we go into a source option in the field catalog, there is something called X fields that could be extracted from email. However, this version of relativity I have does not seem to pick up custom fields from RSMF file formats. It seemed to extract it from other email types, but not RSMF. So the way ideally I would prefer this to work is that the fields would be identified by relativity and you can map them here right from the email header. However, it does not work that this way yet. Uh, I'm still working with relativity to see what they have to say about this. Is this going to be supported in the future or not? Uh, but at this time, you are not able to map custom fields from RSMF header uh, to uh, regular fields. They just show up in message header field. Um, I do realize this is not the most useful way of storing the custom metadata fields, so cross-reference is still the best option. However, I will probably do a follow-up video as I learn more about this functionality from Relativity, or I'll come up with my own ways of handling email uh, header. All right, that's it for this chapter of Message Crawler video manual. Hopefully this was helpful and now you know how you can transfer additional fields into relativity. Thank you for checking it out and I will see you in the next chapter.